Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're back with our Cubase video tutorials and on today's tutorial, we're gonna keep working on tempo and metronome and those topics. So today we're gonna talk about the beat calculator uh, function included in Cubase. So let's say that you are about to start a production, a session with an artist and the artist is, you know, playing the song and um kind of with it like let's say it's an acoustic guitar so the artist is right there they're playing the song and this and that and you're trying to figure out the tempo you could hear the song and then you know have your metronome ready and press play and then when you hear the metronome you realize it is not playing at the same speed that the artist is playing so you could go and you know lower it or raise it and then try again and now it's, you know, it's too far, uh, too fast, and then you want to slower, so you stop it, and then you reduce the tempo, and then you try again. And this process, it might take, uh, you know, three or four iterations to get the right tempo. Now, um, this is totally valid. You could do that, kind of like trial and error, or you could use the beat calculator. Beat calculator is a function that let us tap the tempo with a space bar or with clicks so that we so that Cubase will calculate how fast or how slow it is and give us an actual number okay so how do you do it well it's very simple if you go to project and you click on beat calculator here uh, you're gonna see this window so the first thing it asks you so how many beats you have well let's say it's a four by four beat so it's four beats and then you have a tap tempo function so if you click there you have the tap tempo window that'll show up and it says tap the space bar or mouse button to set the tempo so what you would do here you would have the artist playing and while the artist is playing you can hit the space bar following the beat so let's try like da 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 tap 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 so i'll stop and ch check what happened while the artist was playing i was tapping it and i did it for four or five times and what cubase did is that it calculated the space the time in between those beats and it average it, it calculates an average so it tells you, okay, so in between those four or five hits that you did, the average tempo was about 111.1. Uh, .1. So you press OK. So now you're telling it to do a four beats at 111.10. Then you do, it says insert tempo into tempo track. Yes, you want to insert it at the tempo track start. So once you click there, boom. You can now close that. What you did is that that calculation you put automatically here on your tempo. So if you press play now, that's exactly the tempo of the performance that the, the musician was doing right there in front of you with the acoustic guitar. So now it's way easier for you to discover the proper tempo. You only need to have the artist there play the song or a little bit, it doesn't have to be the whole song, just a little bit of the song and you can use your bit calculator to do that. So that's the bit calculator in Cubase. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.